This clip will uh, show you how to use 5 minute epoxy to texture on top of your water. Uh, you can buy these little tubes and if you get them fresh they're fine. Uh, if you get them like I did about, a, you know, I think I've had it on the shelf for three years, it's really thick and hard to get out of the tubes. Since you need quite a bit anyway, getting this, this was about $15, but it'll do quite a lot of water for you. You'll also need probably a five minute timer if you're going to do this. So what I'm going to do, you probably have to work in sections at a time if you're going to use resin to texture your water. I wouldn't put down more than a tablespoon each and that'll be probably about the amount you need to work with. So I'm going to take the lid off. Usually you take the insert out and clip the tip off and do all of that. But it takes equal parts of A and equal parts of B and this will have a bit of a smell to it. So I'm going to mix up, uh, I'm just going to, for this little example, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of A and a teaspoon of B. Actually I don't know which part is actually A and actually B but as long as you get equal parts of both, it's not going to matter too much. Okay, that looks to me pretty darn close to equal parts. Then you're going to take a popsicle stick and you're going to get your timer set and I'm going to go ahead and start the timer and then I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to go crazy with it. I just want to gently stir. Now we got five minutes to apply this stuff before it's going to start thickening up and take a texture. So I'm just kind of running my stick back and through like this and then I'm going to kind of scoop around the outside, scoop around the outside, bring the outside in, and then I'm going to work this back and forth again. Now, unlike uh, the Envirotex Light, this doesn't have to be really super, you know, thoroughly mixed. Uh, just a, you know, just a, a good minute of mixing. What I'm trying to do is avoid excess amount of air bubbles in this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to the little test so you can kind of see how this did. Uh, this is a little test that I've made up and I'm going to go ahead and apply the uh, epoxy to this sample. So let's just lay this down here and uh, we've still got, uh, looks like we've got three minutes so we've still got plenty of time here. So I'm going to scoop up a bit of this epoxy and I'm going to kind of drizzle it on here. Uh, drizzle it down and I'll get a more close up once I get all of this epoxy laid on. You want to kind of spread it out pretty, pretty thin. Um, you'll still be able to, it, it, you know, if it's thin, you'll still be able to get a bit of, um, you know, a bit of wave texture to it. So I'm just going to kind of push this around, go back and forth, and working at about a uh, four inch by four inch square. You can go a little bit larger, but I wouldn't go too much more than that. It looks like the amount of epoxy that I mixed up is probably not quite going to do this four by four square that I've got here. So we still got about two minutes before uh, um, before we need to start worrying here. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of even this out a little bit. If there's any really thick lumps, and I'm just going to gently go back and forth over the surface. And what this will do is kind of pop some bubbles. There's going to be a little bit of air bubbles. Okay, it looks like our timer's got about seven seconds left on it. Now I've adjusted the light here so that you can kind of see what this is doing. As you drag your stick through it, there it goes. As you drag your stick through it, you can see that uh, it's quite a bit thicker than it was. So what you can do is you can, uh, you, you can drag your stick through it and go ahead and apply some sort of texture to it. I don't think it really matters what kind of texture. I'm just dragging the stick through. And you'll see that it's still, it'll still kind of flow down in. And you can continue to do this until this stuff starts to string. In other words, once you start getting fine sp uh, spiderweb little uh, streaks, uh, it's starting to be a little sticky. Let's see if I go across and you can see fine threads of, uh, of epoxy coming from it. That's just about it. At that point you're probably going to have to stop. Okay. One other quick result I wanted to show you is that uh, this five minute epoxy that I tried, uh, it had probably been sitting on my shelf for a couple of years and it was really thick and hard to get out of the tube. And when I mixed it, I mixed it really aggressively. And what happened is when I put it on the water, you can see it's got kind of like a milkiness to it because of all the tiny air bubbles that were mixed in that didn't get to pop. So this was applied pretty thickly and this material was thick. So uh, this one didn't work out as well. I think if you buy this stuff fresh, it will work out better. If you mix it not as aggressively, it will work out better. Um, and if you don't put it on quite as thick, you probably won't end up with the uh, air bubble or the film that this one had. 
uh, when I put it on later with some new epoxy, this is what the epoxy came out like. And the new epoxy, the five minute epoxy that I did, and I mixed it not aggressively, I mixed it kind of gently, uh, it came out really pretty nice. It didn't have that same problem uh, with the air bubbles in it.